Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm your rabbit. Forza Horizon 5 is here. If you guys catch the live stream when I was starting to do a beginning intro of the game, I was having some game issues where it was closing out on me. Thus, I think I've corrected those issues. And we do have everything working minus our handbrake, which we're going to have to uh, reset right now. But what I really want to talk about is some wheel settings. So. We're gonna go to controls, we're gonna go to control mapping, we're gonna go to wheel, we're gonna go to handbrake, and we're gonna lock in our handbrake. But what I want to talk about is what type of feedback controls I'm running currently. So we are currently running vibration off, and then we're running all of this. We haven't changed, none of the dead zones, nothing like that. We turned vibration scale all the way off. Our force feedback scale is at 1.2. Uh, our centering spring scale, we left it there, but we turned our wheel damage scale all the way off and left everything else how it sits. Now, it does feel pretty good, but we're going to go for a full test here in this episode. We're going to be running some street races here in the A90, but the other thing on difficulty, we are on simulation steering as well as every assist and everything turned off. So, we're going to go full set. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all which are found in the description box below. Let's get to it. So Forza Horizon 5, definitely great to be back here on Forza where my channel really started with Horizon 3. So we do have a circuit race up here. So we're just gonna go to it because it's right up here. We're gonna take the A90 out. And when I so we do, like I said, we do have a bit of self steer and everything, but turning that dampening scale and everything off, as you can see. So we're actually feeling quite good. Now we're gonna do some more fine tuning of that and stuff like that later on. But this is my base one that I want to test, so I figured I'd do some grip driving and see actually what's going on. Not sure why we're having network issues, but we got a bunch of cars that I'm super excited to drive. Um, with the release with some FD cars and things like that of course you know, the, arrived you at know your destination. this year's FD champion and his car is in this game so we're gonna do this in solo because we don't have anything unlocked um, three laps let's go so when I was saying cars we have a whole slew of cars as you can see um, and we have FD cars which we're gonna get into in another episode we have Frederick Osbo's A90 Ryan Turks, Kyle Moabs, one of the um, F-22s from the uh, Drift Cave, the, that Corvette, Red Dan. So we got a slew of cars. So I think we're going to run the Supra, which is recommended. Now we do have some other cars like the A80 Supra, Chris Forsberg's uh, Datsun. So what's Actually, let's just drive the Datsun. We'll go full send in the Datsun. Take a look at that here for in today's episode. Oof, that Z. Definitely looks pretty sweet. So, if you guys have Forza Horizon 5, are you guys figuring out how to fix the crashing issue? So, running it in administrative mode does seem to help. So, that's one thing you can do. Um, now, when I'm recording, it won't let me record when I'm in administrative mode. So, Unfortunately, I definitely can't. I, I gotta figure out that. So, average, average, above average, highly skilled, expert, pro, unbeatable. So, we're gonna leave them at. We're gonna leave an average at first and see how they do, and then we'll go up from there. All right, let's start the race in the Z. Trip the lines on the back. Full set. First person action. Oh, I'm sorry. Already wrecking Force Brick's car. So, Horizon is definitely a game where you tend to drive mostly in third person. This is more of an arcade game, and we're just bumping that guy. So, the wheel physics feedback that I have right now is actually feeling quite good, and it's. Uh... Oh, I locked that up. I need to adjust my braking pressure. I feel like I'm just locking the brakes up too fast. Come on the inside. 
that Subaru a little bit slide for the for the Z. So this is the start of all the Forza Horizon 5 content. Right through like I said, I did do those two live streams when day released, but unfortunately I'm having some issues with it. So we will be doing some more Forza live streams once I get some full settings and everything dialed in. Pushing that Z out of the way. Bye bye Z. We got a gaming up here. We got slap tray at Zeech Meadow. Get a little bit of a slide. There we go. Managing that slide a little bit. We are on the full Fanatec setup. We got these two right here in this section. Oh yeah, we got them. Oh, just a tap there. We got this. Level three, okay. So it feels so good, like I said before, to be back here on Forza Horizon because Horizon 3 is where my channel started, so it's nice to get back to the roots of my channel in the Horizon series. We're just dominating with the Z. Oh, that's why. So for real physics and real feedback, it does feel way better than Horizon 4 did. Um, to me, it feels like it has a very Forza 7-esque feel when it comes to how the wheel feels, but if you notice, I'm getting a lot of self-steer, though, and that's what turning that wheel damn thing off. Run this lap in first person, see what happens. The wheel going only 90 degrees. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, um. <clears throat> we're gonna, we're gonna do a, a rewind there. Can I, can I, can I rewind? Um. Oh, that's just a play. How do I, uh, how do I accept this, um, uh, start from here? I don't want to wreck too hard. Oh, there's another rock. So, uh, rewind is definitely a thing. So we um, need to rewind further. I'm not sure what for what button four is. We're gonna hit R. <laughs> rewind is definitely a friend here for today. So we're trying to change views and things like that. So we're gonna rewind it from here. We should probably turn rewinds off if you want to be full. We were trying to go first person view. And what I was trying to say is what bothers me is the whole steering wheel still only turning in 90 degrees. It's, you know, something that Forza's always had and they haven't changed it yet. I wish they would. And because my, I know my steering wheel's going way more than 90 degrees. Had a little thermal flutter in there. But that was one thing that Forza, I keep, gotta keep not looking away from my monitor. Forza has always had that whole no steering angle in the wheel, and it's just something that has, maybe has to do something with the fact of how many cars I have, how open world it is, and things like that. It would be very hard for them to do the proper, you know, 900 degrees in the cockpit. I'm not sure if you guys know, let me know down in the comments. So we're gonna take the win after having to, uh, you know, run a couple uh, rewinds. We may up the difficulty for the next race. The physics do feel pretty good with how I have them right now, and I think we're going to continue to fine-tune them, but for the base, I want to show you guys the base of what I'm currently using in my wheel setting. So, gamertag is EvilRabbit07 here on Forza Horizon. We are going to be creating a club and everything like that. So once I get that all created, I'll let you guys know Big where you guys can join it. Every uh, time. Wheel spin. Have a wheel spin. I mean, okay, I'll take it. Some free clothes, we'll take it. Horizon, definitely all the wheel spins, all the fun. So we completed one race. So let's head to another race. We're gonna keep this with the pavement racing for today's episode. 
So we're gonna go drive to that one and we'll try a different car. We're gonna drive for this car to get there though. Of course, traditional drag strip style. All the straights. People are gonna be doing them drag builds and everything like that. Hey Andy, we're tracking well towards our first adventure. Keep going, That's we're all double. cheering for we're you. We're taking that <laughs> fast pass forward. Thanks Haley. Amigo, this is a fast travel board. Smash them to get a discount on fast travel. Smash them all, and Horizon will cover all your expenses. I Andy. used to have fast travel in Horizon uh, 3, and it was great. So we do have an XP board right here. We're gonna, oh, it's underneath us. We're gonna have to get that. So I think we have the treasure map and everything. So we'll be able to find out all those boards. This card is all the backfires. It sounds so good. So Emerald Circuit you Racing. You've arrived at your destination. Let's take this one and bring out another car. And I feel like we should drive. Let's see. So we got these from Forza 7. We have our base 890. We have the Kazi. These ones are recommended. These ones are not. But like I said, we have a whole slew of cars. So let's just take out the base 890 Supra and see what we can do with the 890. Now we're going to up the difficulty by one and see if we can beat it with one more difficulty. We'll keep upping it until we realize that we can't do it anymore. Because I feel like unbeatable would not work. We would probably just ultimately die. But. We are going to be doing a full drift episode and everything here with some of those FD cars. Like I said, let's up the difficulty above average. And let's uh, save that. And then exit and start the race at above, above average.
attraction. First impressions, if you guys like this live stream. Overall, first impressions of the wheel. The wheel does feel very good compared to previous Horizons. And uh, I feel with some fine tuning, this thing will feel even better. It does feel very good for out of the box, off the rip, with running basic Fanatec tuning on the wheel. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which found the description box below. A lot of Let's Play episodes coming here for you guys. So make sure you guys follow me on everything and as always I thank you guys for coming back and watching I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.